All right, so big thank you to Made in the UK, otherwise known uh, going as Big Busty Woo Woo right now because why not? You know, if you gotta you better have a sense of humor in this place to eat you alive, right? Especially YouTube for crying out loud. So I think this was a pretty awesome catch. I am I didn't hear about this, so found this out from her. Uh, she used this article from the Independent. I'm gonna show you one from Forbes, but so yeah, some monolith out of nowhere just showed up in Antarctica. The extraordinary monolith has edges to clean, uh, has edges so clean they look like they've been cut with a knife. So here's from Forbes here. I'll put the, uh, the link below. NASA finds perfectly rectangular iceberg in Antarctica as if it was deliberately cut. NASA just shared a stunning image of a nearly perfect rectangular iceberg in Antarctica. The monolithic Slab of ice floating just off the Larsen C ice shelf appears quite unnatural. Yeah, no shit. And then an amazing, I just read the, the whole focal point of this article is this thing, but they're not going to show you a full picture of it. That's very suspect. But there must be, could be a whole fake picture altogether, wouldn't know, but there must be something going on they wouldn't show you. But yeah, come on, man. Yeah, that does not look like something that just happened over time. And I've been reporting on Antarctica all year. The place has been crazy what's going on. It's funny how all this stuff is happening at the same time. Just a few weeks ago, new evidence suggests particles detected in Antarctica that don't fit the standard model. And then remember earlier this year I showed you this? And remember the news is even doomy about it because it's like, oh shit, this thing's going to break off and flip this place over and flood every place. And and then what's funny is they even said is that it didn't even start really doing its thing to where they, it got people's attention down there. We're like, oh shit, maybe we should keep an eye on it. It wasn't until 2014. So what happened that made that happen? Why all of a sudden 2014 did that crack really start, oh, maybe we should start keeping an eye on it. And then remember this. Don't you think that's weird? Where the hell are those coming from? And what about this? So here you go. I know those sound very, sound similar to Saturn, if you ask me. And isn't that funny, man? I mean, they've been down there forever, dicking around. Now all of a sudden we got these, we're recording and hearing these strange sounds that the wind blows uh, whenever it hits the ice shelf and, it, and the vibration about, yeah, everything's about vibration. So you know, you know how they put that in there, keyword vibrate. And then out of nowhere, right? This thing, and this is all. I mean, these are all those, all that stuff you're seeing. I just told you, but that's all within been about six months. I mean, something's going on down there, and I find it really weird. I do. I think it's very strange that Metallica, the only rock band, Guinness Book of World Records, even for playing on all seven continents, and I reported on it when it happened. It just happened a few years ago. They finally made it to Antarctica, and they have a song titled "Trap." under ice. So they come they finally, you know, 2013, first band ever to play in all seven continents, and then the next year, 2014, is when they start noticing this crack. Looks like it's gonna cause a problem. I just think that's real suspect. And this whole thing triggered me because this word right here is a buzzword. Monolith. And why is that? Well take a listen right here. The moon. We should go boldly where man has not gone before. Fly by the comets, visit asteroids, visit the moon of Mars. 
there's a monolith there, a very unusual structure on this little potato-shaped object that, that goes around Mars once in seven hours. When people find out about that, they're going to say, who put that there? All right, so there you go. You got this joker telling you there's a monolith on the moon of Mars, and then you have this monolith that just showed up out of nowhere in Antarctica. And you have the whole 2001 Space Odyssey thing where the monolith came, and then all the trouble happened. And when they look into it, they say, oh, my God, it's full of stars because it's a, it's, a it's just a big rectangle. A rectangle's a door. It's a doorway to another dimension, another universe, another galaxy. And none of this would have made any real big impact or significance to me except for when I started getting into ancient Greece and shit earlier in the summer. The summer and I mean, that's where our story starts. You got the Bible written in Greek. Our language is Greek. We're democracy Greek. All this stuff is based off the Greeks, the Colosseum, everything. Greek architecture, stuff you see today, the big columns and pillars, right? It's all Greek. And those guys, the capital of ancient Greece, where the first world bank was, the Parthenon, the first world bank, where you wouldn't have had anything. There would be no Greek culture and nothing to show for if it wasn't for the Parthenon. That was all placed in Athens. The capital was Athens, Ath and it was for Athena. They had big statues out there, big idols of her and everything. So the capital of the world was named after and dedicated to Athena. Athena is war, and war is Mars. So there's something to it. And then I showed you in an earlier video that the Romans conquered the Greeks, but then they went on to spread Greek culture. And those guys wore a helmet that looked a hell of a lot like that. And this guy is named Marvin the Who Martian. Mars. Men are from Mars. Women are from Venus. I don't I don't know. I don't know exactly. I still haven't pieced it all together, but there is something huge with that planet, that place, that whatever it is. And so I just and honestly. I mean, for real, out of all the planets that and what they symbolize, if you ask me, and we're in a constant perpetual state of war, right? So out of all the things that we emulate on this planet, yeah, love is here, but I sure as hell feel like war is emulated way more. You can find way more examples of war than you can of love, real love, not that communist nonsense where you break your promises that you make to people that you supposedly love. The real love. Very, very hard to find here. So to me, this place is a way more of a reflection than war, which would be Mars, than any other planet. Something to think about. They're going to say, who put that there? Who put that there?